Previously on Banjo Tooie. Please fix the pool. Peggles pushed me in the other week, and look at what happened to my arm. Freako. But yeah, here we are in Mumbo's skull. Uh, as you can see, we have two Globos. The other Globo is the uh, Globo we obtained in the Isle of Hags on the clifftop. Uh, that Globo will actually count for your totals, and you could actually use it in other worlds if you want to. But try not to use the Globo unless you have uh, the other corresponding Globos of the world, just so you don't get confused and think that... Oh, uh, okay, I, I didn't... I already got the Globo from this world, and then you end up finding out later that you skipped one of the Globos in the world when you actually need to use it for the uh, one at the Isle of Hags, so just keep that in mind. Also, something is weird in here. I don't know about you guys, but... This wall looks fishy to me. ZAP! Ah, okay. Interesting. I guess Mumbo's skull has a secret exit. We'll investigate that later, but for right now, Mumbo has a very, very important job. Because notice how we've essentially explored the entire area so far. Well, almost the entire area. Down there is actually where this world starts. This is just kind of the pre-beginning stuff. What we need to do is, because there's a lot of water here, we need to actually give the water some oxygen. And by doing this, we can actually swim inside the water as Banjo and Kazooie without having to uh, go back for air. Mumbo shine big light on water. It now has plenty oxygen. Bear and bird not need to hold breath in there now. And yeah, that's pretty much how uh, this world's gonna work. We've collected, uh, I believe, only one Jiggy and a few Jinjos, but everything else, all of it's gonna be underwater, so. That's why. This is the quote-unquote water world of the game. And while I feel like there's a lot of people who dislike this world, I am actually not one of them. I really do not mind this world that much. I don't know about you guys, but it just doesn't really bother me that much. I actually find this world to be kind of fun in a very weird way. That's just my opinion, though. I know there's going to be some people who feel differently, but still, I was just really, really impressed with uh, how they did this. I think this is one of the games that really captured the true essence of what a water world should be. Because in all other games, you have to hold your breath for a long period of time, and by the time you're done, uh... <laughs> well, you're almost out of breath, and you have to really, really rush things, but... In this level, not so much. You actually get to kind of explore the environment and the atmosphere. It honestly just makes things a lot more fun, I think. Let's see, are there any other ones of these things, or... Did I already get that one? Oh god! <laughs> I was actually inside that thing! Whoops. Uh, you. That's right, I was looking for someone. Okay, didn't exactly need that, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, keep looking around. I think there's a uh, exit somewhere around here. Yes, this should do nicely. And oh my god, we have an octopus. Well, no worries, this is where our trusty new ice eggs will come in handy. If I can aim properly. There we go. This is how we get past the octopus. You can't actually swim through the tentacles, but it's really hard and you end up getting hurt most of the time, so I would not recommend that. And welcome to the world of Atlantis. And yeah, this is uh pretty much it. This is uh, Jolly Roger Lagoon.
We have blowfish, pufferfish, whatever you want to call them. Best to destroy these guys as soon as possible. Because they can be kind of annoying. Go ahead and grab this uh, treble cleft too. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. Uh, over here we actually have... Uh, actually, no way, I think we need the uh, move. The other move we need to get before we do that. Okay, yep, sorry, false, false alarm. Let's explore here and see what we have. This building looks interesting. Let's see, we have squiggly, triangle, squiggly, squiggly, pie, horseshoe. Okay, let's uh, remember that. And sure enough, we have a bit of a puzzle here, so we need to... toss eggs in all of these uh, pots. Now we need to do triangle. And squiggly. Pie. And horseshoe. This will open up that door and we can actually take a look inside. Okay, Temple of the Fishes. So I guess this is that one uh, room where all of the Italian mobsters actually uh, bring all the people that they say are going to sleep with the fishes. That would have to be my guess anyway. Oh, what do we have up here? Hello there! Oh, hi. I'm Chris. Chris? Not very pig-like, if you ask me. Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. Oh, I see. What are you doing, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation trying to photograph those lovely paintings on the wall down there. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is, but these awful fish keep attacking me. Why not get a spear gun? This camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. Perhaps you could uh, protect me while I'm down there instead? Okay, we have eggs. Right then, if you could just follow me down to the bottom. Okay. Uh, this is probably the hardest challenge in this entire level, at least in my opinion. Because you have to quite literally protect this guy from hungry, hungry fish. And if you're not careful, you're easily going to mess up, and that's not something you want to do. Only thing I would suggest, just swim circles around here, and just do your best to uh, keep all the fish at bay. Oh wow, I actually did pretty good. Wow, I can't believe I actually did that on the first try. Normally it takes a few more tries than that. Guess I got kind of lucky with the uh, fish placement. That's usually what throws me off normally. Okay, I'll take that jiggy. Thank you for your... 
generosity. And I'm glad you actually got your pictures, too. You better get those developed and uh, send me a few copy of those pictures as well. I'd like to put them up in my house. Frame them. They'd be good conversation starters, let's just say that much. I'll tell people that I met a frickin' pig named Crispy Bacon. And, uh... I protected him from being eaten by fish. We'll all have a good laugh about it, and then, uh... Good times will be had by all. Okay, let's get rid of this puffer fish again. He sees me. I'm gonna destroy him. Uh, here's a warp panel. Let's go ahead and uh, use that. No, 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 I didn't want to use it. Gotta be careful around those warp panels. Sometimes you'll accidentally activate them. Uh, over there, I believe, is actually where you can find Humba Wumba. I'm not looking for her right now, though. I'm in more in the mood for what's in here. This is the Electric Eels Lair. If you've ever wanted to swim with Electric Eels, now is your chance. I am personally not in the mood for doing that, but there is something important here. And that would be the next move. Zed launches bird, just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Control stick to steer in A for speed, B to cancel if it's banjo you need. Okay, and that's all the moves for uh, Jolly Roger Lagoon. Uh, the Talon Torpedo is definitely the big move you want to learn here. Not only will it open up a lot of things in this world, but it'll also open up a lot of things outside of the world, too. In fact, you've probably seen a lot of uh, examples of kazooie faces on things underwater. In fact, those fish up there, some of these fish have some really good items that you want to get. Not so much that one, though. That one only had uh, eggs, but... There are a few others, though, that are worth mentioning. You are on a time limit, though, so keep that in mind. Actually, let's go ahead and go back over here towards, uh, not you. What am I looking for? There is actually a place I want to find. Because it has a treasure we're going to want to grab. I always lose where this thing is, though. It's kind of hard to find when you really think about it, but still. Let's see, is it this? I don't think it's this, but let's go ahead and uh, bust that open. That's a place we're going to explore later. Yeah, what in the hell am I looking for? Can't seem to find it. Cause I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, wait. Okay, I found it. Yep. Okay, well that takes care of that. Uh, anything else I want to look for before I start exploring? I know there's a couple of different buildings here. I'm not sure which ones are actually relevant, though. Let's try this one. Over here we have the... Seaweed Sanctum. Yeah, I think this would be a good place to start. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is actually a Jinjo in here. In fact, there he is. Let's go meet him. 
Let's meet him and give him a big hug. Okay, no, that was stupid. <laughs> I thought I could make that jump, but no. I guess I'll have to go around. This will give us our next red, Jinjo. We got two more to collect from that family. And what do we have over here? This is the sea bottom. Oh my god, that's a huge fish. Let's get rid of his teeth. Fish should not have teeth like that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's just the way it's gonna have to be. Uh, let's, uh, actually do something first. I did see one of those, uh, yep you. That wasn't really necessary, though. Also, is that really the first time I've kind of picked up gold feathers in this game? <laughs> I think I actually did before, but uh, that was on my old file before I had to start a new one to uh, fix a botched recording. Oh my god, this is always annoying to aim. There we go. And with his teeth gone, he can now do the honors of trying to eat us. If we don't clip through his face. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hello. What do we have in here? Inside the big fish. Well, at least they're honest with location. Okay, we have two passageways. Let's go down this one first. Got a Jinjo. But what about the other passage? Oh god, what are you? Oh, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on one of the Blubber's wave racers when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's lovely. It'll be so happy the hour at the end, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. God, I really messed up my voice when I tried to do that. <laughs> oh, God, hold on a second. Yeah, I really shouldn't try to overdo voices. <laughs> if anything, it just ends up screwing up my own voice. And then when I do that, I can't do any commentary at all, so... That's a big problem. Okay, before we continue, uh, I did want to quickly activate a warp point, because I believe there is one in here. My god, though, that fish can be really, really threatening. Or not threatening, but scary if, uh, 
Well, if you don't realize that, oh my god, he's a pushover. I don't think he actually does any damage to you. I think he just swims around. Well, hey, good for him. <laughs> good for us, actually. Don't have to worry about freaking getting eaten by him. Okay, looks like we have more octopi. If we activate the ice eggs. And this will take us into... Well, it doesn't exactly show us a name, but, uh... Hello! Oh, God. I freaking hate that thing. Uh, right. We have, uh, more of these guys. This one has a honeycomb piece. And then there's this one, which has... Eggs. Dang it, you guys suck. Well, let's go back to Banjo. Let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of different, uh... Little, uh, graves here. That one said Davy Jones. Which means that one could be a very important one. Oh, God! I did not see that frickin' uh, guy there. And this looks like something else entirely, so I'm gonna ignore that. I believe there is a warp point somewhere in here. I wanna look for that. I believe some of these graves are actually uh, workers at Rareware. It's the way they insert themselves into the game. Okay, yeah, seriously, where's the uh, warp pad? Let me go up so I can maybe look down and find it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Shouldn't be that hard to find. Don't think it's inside any other one of the graves either. Oh wait, no, it's right here. There we go. 